Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take a look at circles and hopefully get a nice definition and introduction to all the parts that make up a circle. And there are a lot. You're gonna see a lot of key terms on this video. So be sure to pay attention to those and hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a great foundation for circles so we can move on to more complex problems. So we've dealt with the previous videos with polygons. Remember, polygons are two-dimensional shapes connected by straight lines. Well, a circle is also a two-dimensional shape, but it is not created by straight lines. And I think we all know what a circle looks like, and there it is right there. It's made of a single curved line going around a center point. And that center point is gonna be right there in the middle, and every point around that circle ends up being an equidistant to that center point. That's the technical definition for a circle. Now there are a lot of key points and key parts to the circle that we gotta make sure we identify in this video. The first is the diameter of a circle. Now what the diameter is, let me get my straight edge out. A diameter is a straight line that goes from one end of the circle to the other and it crosses through the center. That right there, that blue line, that is what we would refer to as the diameter. Let me go ahead and make a little mark like that. And we call that the diameter. Super important that we recognize the diameter goes from one end of the circle to the other, but it has to cross through the center. Let me show you a quick example of what's not a diameter. That blue line right there is not a diameter. Yes, it goes from one end of the circle to the other, but it's not going through the center point. For it to be a diameter, end to end, but through the center. Now, the diameter is very important for circles. It kind of tells us how wide that circle is. But there's another key point that goes with the diameter. If you notice the diameter with the center there, it's sort of cut in half. There's two pieces there. And each of those pieces is what we call a radius. Now a radius, let me get my straight edge out again, a radius is a straight line in a circle that goes from the center to the edge of the circle. Notice that it's only going halfway. It's half of the diameter. And I'm gonna go ahead and write this word here. That's the radius. And I wanna make sure that's known for you, that the diameter, we'll go ahead and label that with the letter D, that the diameter equals two of the radii. Radii is the plural for the word radius. Those are kind of the big components for a circle. The diameter going the entire length end to end through the center, and then the radius going from the center to the edge. And the radius is half the diameter. Now that's all well and good for us for the circle. Two big points that we're gonna to need to look at as we move through other complex problems. Another thing that we wanna look at for a circle is the perimeter of the circle. Now, we are really familiar, or I hope we're familiar, with finding, let's say, the perimeter of a rectangle. We know that if we wanna find that perimeter, we just have to add up all the side lengths and we'll have our perimeter. Well, with the circle, there are not multiple sides there, right? It's one single curved side. Well, the circumference is actually the fancy way of saying the perimeter of a circle. Let me go ahead and write that word down. The circumference of a circle is really just the perimeter. It's finding out what that length is all the way around. And in a future video, I will go through a little more in depth of how we can find the circumference when we're given the diameter or the radius. Now that is the circumference. Now, let's say I'm looking at that circle and I don't wanna find the entire circumference. Maybe instead, let me go ahead and label that with that highlighter mark. Maybe instead of just finding the entire circumference, I just wanna find a portion of the circumference. Well, let's say I wanted to find this little bit right here from that end of the radius to the end of that diameter. That part of the circumference, that's what we're gonna call an arc. And an arc is just what you see a part of the circumference, it's a portion of it. It's a part of it, it's not the entire circumference, it's just one portion. That is what we call an arc. And 
Oftentimes in math classes, you'll be asked to find the length of the arc. And that involves finding the entire circumference, but then taking out the part you don't want. And again, in a future video, we'll look at exactly how we can find the length of an arc for a circle. Now, the other key factor, the key term that I want to introduce to you is the word sector. And sector is not going to refer to the circumference, but more of to the area of the circle, right? If I were to get my highlighter, I could highlight all of the inner piece here, and we would recognize that that represents the area of the circle. Now a sector is a part of the circle. It's a sector of the circle. Really, the best analogy I can give you is if you think about this circle as a uh, pizza, a sector is a piece of the pizza. Right there highlighted in yellow, that little section, that sector of the circle, that is what we refer to as a sector, a piece of the circle. So arc, deals with circumference, the perimeter, sector deals with the area. Now these are really the main components for a circle. Knowing that we have a diameter that goes from one end to the other through the center of the circle, we have the radius, which is half of that diameter going from the center to the outside edge. We have the circumference, which is really just the perimeter of the circle. And if I want a part of that circumference, well, we refer to that as an arc or the length of an arc, arc length. And then finally, a sector of the circle is referring to a piece, sort of like a piece of pizza out of the whole pizza of that area. Those main components are gonna be super helpful for us as we look at a little more complex problems using some circle formulas. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.